Well, the other major headline, of course, this winter storm getting closer and closer to the Carolinas. Yeah, and Isaac, I know everybody's wondering at this point about snow totals and what it means for our area. Yeah, and some will be disappointed, some will be surprised, and then some are just going to be snowed in in western <laughs> North Carolina. That's where we find a winter storm watch issued earlier today for Saturday afternoon and Saturday night all the way through noon on Monday. It's in those areas where we're most confident to see widespread heavy snow totals on the order of a foot or more in many places across western North Carolina, namely near Brevard and then a secondary bullseye likely to set up just east of Asheville on the eastern facing slopes of uh, northern Rutherford County, uh, McDowell County, as well as Yancey and Mitchell County, including Mount Mitchell. Up there, we're looking at 10 to 15 inches plus in many areas for the greater Asheville area, 6 to 12. And then down into the northern upstate, that's where you stand the best chance to see several inches of snowfall. But by the time we get to I-85, we're looking at 1 to 4 inches at most. And then south of there, towards southern Greenville County, Lawrence, Anderson, and certainly south of there, uh, toward Greenwood, a cold rain likely there, but maybe as far south as Anderson to Lawrence to Union, you could get maybe a dusting up to an inch if you're lucky. But I do expect most of the heavier snow totals to fall well north of I-85. Our freezing rain, ice concerns, certainly a little bit more of a prevalent issue in the upstate because ice, of course, causes major travel concerns. And unfortunately, right now it looks like it's going to set up potentially right on Interstate 85 from Gaffney to Greenville and then over toward Clemson back into parts of Oconee County. There's going to be a small ribbon just a few miles here and there of potentially some significant icing concerns. Everywhere else in the lighter pink shades, you could see a glare here or there, but the major concerns are going to be confined to a sliver of the upstate. Because we're going to have fluctuating precipitations types, uh, we made a snowman meter. Uh, basically not bad is the best we'll get early Sunday morning. Otherwise, we're just kind of looking at a, a slushy mix. Very unfavorable for uh, snowman. If you want to build a really solid snowman, you're going to have to go to uh, western North Carolina. So to uh, kind of sum things up for this weekend, rain, sleet, freezing rain, snow, all possible in the upstate. Temperatures, will be very tricky, and that's the reason we could see all four precipitation types, snow and accumulation of said snow, most likely there in the mountains. Let's talk timing. Saturday morning, we're going to start off with some rain, maybe a little bit of sleep, but no real travel issues expected. And through the day Saturday, likely to stay a cold rain for the upstate, but we'll start to see that change over in western North Carolina to all snow by Saturday night. This is 8 o'clock. Notice how that blue is starting to expand just a bit, and also the pink is expanding a little bit into the upstate. Overnight, we keep that snow machine going in western North Carolina, but overnight into early Sunday morning, just before sunrise, enough cold air spills down into the upstate to cause a real wintry mess for, again, areas along Interstate 85 and points to the north. We're likely to see all snow, uh, basically from Greenville and Spartanburg northward for a couple of hours. And in those couple of hours, it is going to be coming down pretty hard. And that's the reason that we could see a couple of inches worth of accumulation fairly quickly. But look what happens by 7, 8, 9, 10 o'clock in the morning on Sunday. The warm air is pushing that snow back to the north just enough to cause the upstate to go back to maybe a freezing rain event. So that's why we're most concerned with I-85 and that icing potential Sunday afternoon. The upstate starts to dry out while the mountains continue to see the snow fall. Into Monday, we're going to have one final disturbance move through to bring another round of snow to the mountains, possibly mixing with some snow at times there in the upstate. We finally clear out by Tuesday and uh, we're looking pretty nice the rest of the week. The system right now is over Southern California, bringing much needed rain there in parts of the desert southwest. But it gets here Saturday, a 90% chance of rain, a 100% chance of that wintry mix on Sunday. Lingering rain and snow on Monday, and then we finally start to dry out by Tuesday, Wednesday, and on Thursday. Don't forget, you can always head to foxcarolina.com. We'll be updating that constantly over the next few days with the latest information. And you'll also want to download the Fox Carolina News app for the very latest on the weather forecast sent straight to your mobile device.